Okay, I never make videos, but for any Ableton MIDI mapping, programming, DMX lighting nerd, um, I think you'll like this. This is automating lighting within Ableton. So these are the lights that I'm using. Uh, this is what we use for our live show. The two center panels are uh, American DJ Mega Bar 50s, and then on either side are Shave QScan 250 scanners. So those are all daisy chained together. And that comes up to this DMX interface. Uh, so that's DMX and then USB. And that runs it in the computer. And then Ableton recognizes that. And that interface works in conjunction with a plugin on a return channel within Ableton, which is right here. So it's basically like a, a virtual DMX controller then. So you have uh, the Q scan, pan, tilt, shutter, gobo, etc. for both. Megabar 50, red, green, blue, macro, strobe, program, dimmer, parameters for both. So, if I move this fader up and down, there's that Q scan going up and down. Pretty cool. And then all those faders are configured into the plugin rack down here, and then each one of those parameters gets its own automation lane in the return channel. So like uh, 1 and 8, these are um, the automation lanes for the scanner panned, so panning left and right. So just like you would automate um, like an LFO or a filter cutoff or something on a synth, it's the same thing, only you're automating the panning of those scanners. So like this is the live set, here's some of the music. Then if I open up that DMX channel again, there's all the lighting automation. So if I hit play, boom, everything's in sync. And then I can take as much time as I want and get as precise as I want and just build the coolest synced up light show that I can think of. All automated. Pretty cool. And then, just to take it one step further on the nerdiness here, um, so like all of these parameters down here, you can MIDI map with whatever controller you have. So I MIDI mapped the pan and the tilt of those scanners to what? My iPhone. So like this is pan left and right for that scanner. Um, I think this is tilt, yep, up and down, down, up, down, up, same thing for that guy over there, which is not on right now, but yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, um, I might make a tutorial later, but just thought I'd share that. Peace.